Hey guys, how are you? Um, hopefully everyone's doing well out there. Um, it's a nice, chilly, quiet Sunday evening, um, October 4th in New York City, so hopefully everyone's doing safe and well out there. Um, I actually have been wanting to try out Nickelodeon Kart Racers, the first one for a while, never really got around to doing so, and then this came out, uh, number two, Grand Prix, and uh, yeah, I figured I'd give it a shot. I love kart racers, especially like Mario Kart or you know Diddy, kart, or Diddy Kong Racing or you know uh, Crash Team Racing, uh, Jack, Com uh, Jack X Combat Racing or, or any other kind of kart racer really, it's just a lot of fun. So. Yeah, I figured I'd give it a shot and just, you know, play it in front of you guys. Um, so, anybody out there who's watching, welcome to the stream. Uh, chat's open if you want to shout out or anything, I try to pay attention to it. Um, and if you liked the video, you know, and enjoyed yourself, you know, like, share, subscribe, shoot out suggestions out there, and I'll see what I can do. So, anyway, let's get into this. So it seems like we got like we got a slime grand prix, free race challenges, time trial arena. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the racing mode just to try it out, just to see how it feels. Uh, okay, so they got slow, medium, fast, which is basically 50 cc, 100 cc, 150 cc. I'm um, assuming there's gonna be kind of some kind of unlockable at the end. I don't really know for sure. Uh, I'm gonna go with medium. Oh, I like that. That's pretty cool. They got a hairball cup, football cup. Uh, Di Dipey Cup, Conglomo Cup, it's clever, Neptune Cup, Arg Cup, Dream Cup, and Super Slime Cup. Okay. I think I'm going to go with the Hairball Cup just to start. Just go with the first one. Even though I think we all know from our childhoods growing up with all this, you know, from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, Nicktoons era, cartoon era. My favorite is Rocco's Modern Life. I don't know what yours is. Uh, let me know in the comments, man, which one yours is. So, uh, there's a lot of great Nicktoons back in the day. So, let's go with the Hairball Cup. Okay, let's look at the roster real quick. We got SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, Leo, uh, TMNT, Ralph, Donatello, Mikey. I don't like that they don't call them by their full names with the TMNT crew. Whatever. Uh, we got Lincoln, Lucy, and now we got the Rugrats, Tommy, Chucky, hey Arnold, Arnold, and Helga. We got Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life, Invader Zim. Okay, we got Aang from Avatar, and a bunch of unlockables. I wonder who they're gonna be. So, hey, Our Real Monsters was cool too, man. It's just a shame that all the the video game they had on the Genesis and the Super Nintendo sucked. <laughs> You had to play as all three characters. All three characters actually it was like a platformer puzzler, where you had to keep switching between each character to use their kind of abilities to move through the levels, and it was really annoying. Should actually play that for this month um, on top of Monster Party for NES, because you'll just see how awful that game is. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta go at Rocco. Oh, you get to pick a chief too. Oh man, so we got Plankton, Lynn, and Philbert. Of course, Philbert. Come on, man. Crew engineer. I'm leaning with Gary. I mean, Kimmy's from the later Rugrats. Eugene. He everything breaks with Eugene. He's like the most unlucky character on Hey Arnold. So um, I'm going Gary because Gary's smart. Uh, I'm going with Kimmy also. Really? That's pretty funny. Potato engine. Look at that. I love that. That's like Hey Arnold right there. <laughs> straight from the episodes. That's actually pretty clever. I like that a lot. Um, let's see, technical, ace savvy. I don't even know what any of these do, to be honest with you. I mean, they give you different, like, you know, boosts in, like, all the different categories, you know, to the top left there, the top speed, turbo, steering, and drift. I always want to go with handling, so I'm probably going to go with the high control. Ah, uh, that, that's, that's clever. I like that. Oh, confetti. Look at that. That's... Yeah, I'm going with confetti. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at that. Super 90s. I mean... Yeah, I gotta go to sports. Sports is like Super 90s. Look at that. That's insane. Yeah, buddy. 
I am ready. Let's do this. Oh, before we do anything, cheers. So instead of pizza rolls and Dr. Pepper, I'm just going to do the liquid carbs with another Elysian pumpkin chino coffee pumpkin ale. That was a pretty good heavy breakdown there. It's like Nickelodeon Grand Prix. Do -do 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 it's a little odd. Oh, no. Oh, no, I can't pour. I can't pour. Okay, so it acceleration seems to be right trigger or R2 on PlayStation. No, I'd probably switch. It's the same. I don't know what drift is. Oh, drift is uh, left trigger. Uh, B is to look behind you. Okay, and A is using your item here. So. Out of my way. This is Super Mario Kart. And I don't mean Super Mario Kart. I'm like, this is basically Mario Kart. Did I get slime there? I got slime. Okay. Terrible. I gotta get used to the controls here. Oh, I'm kidding. I'm just trying to figure out like what the items do. So I get a, a I get a bouncy ball, I guess. All right, that's basically a green shell. Oh, this drift is a little intense. I gotta get used to the drift for a minute. I wonder if I can get a boost if I jump off this. Yep. Mario Kart right there. Who's that? What happened there? I took somebody out with the gnome. Nice. The the lawn gnomes from Invader Zim. Yeah. Ah, think again. It's like the drift actually is a little stiff. So is that a blue shell? A blue shell. Or the equivalent of a blue shell. Oh, you gotta be joking. Like, you actually have to jump into the turn. You can't just, like, jump and then kind of angle the turn in, or into the turn. Yeah, the football, the, the football head, yeah. Come on, get the boost, get the boost. No, no, no. Oh, you son of a... You gotta be joking, I just got screwed at the end there. Ugh. I got screwed by, the, by whatever rockets and footballs that are being thrown at me. This is straight up Mario Kart. There's no if, ands, or buts. It's straight up Mario Kart. I just gotta get used to the controls and what the weapons do, because I think we're all familiar with what the weapons do at this point in Mario Kart. And it seemed like they have equivalents for everything from Mario Kart. Cheers to whatever you're drinking out there, soda, water, beer. Milk, eggs, doesn't matter to me. How do, how do I get a boost there? I gotta get that timing down. Shell shock? Okay. Oh, cool. Alright, so I guess... Whatever they do, I have no idea what the characters do here. Like, I have no idea what the characters do. Yeah, I gotta get used to the drifting. The drifting doesn't quite seem the same as Mario Kart. Ah, jeez. Look at this. Out of my way. They give you the items very quickly. That's one thing I noticed so far. Like, there's not... It doesn't, like, flip through all of them for, like, three or four times. It just gets, gives you an item. Oh, the lawn gnomes? Yeah, we got the lawn gnomes there. I 
be sending a blue shell, or I'm sorry, but... <laughs> is that the... Eh. That's the king jellyfish right there. So the king jellyfish is... That's funny. The captain's arm. Basically, it's the, uh, the squid ink from Mario Kart. King, uh, king jellyfish is the uh, blue shell. That's amazing. Oh my god. Okay, maybe he handles a little too well. I, I think I probably need some tighter uh, turning or handling here. Alright, so I guess Trover gives me a, like a protection, I guess? Oh, see, again, I tried turning left and... Ah, it's hard to do, man. I gotta get used to that drifting. It's very different from uh, Mario Kart. Oh, okay. So I guess you're like one of your mechanics like cleans you up. I guess. <laughs> That's the electric pig. That's amazing. Oh god. Right. I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, King Jellyfish again. Come on. Alright, so I think that's a homing football. Nice. Yeah, I'll take a win. I think the graphics are pretty good. Uh, the controls are very, very good also. They're tight. It's just as they literally copied Mario Kart. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, it's literally Mario Kart except for button layouts. It's literally the same thing. The drifting, that is a little different. It feels much different than Mario Kart. So that you gotta get used to. Get the Mario Kart drifting out of your brain if you're gonna play this. Like every time, when, basically what I mean is like in Mario Kart when you drift and you jump to do the drift, you're already pointing in the direction where you want to get that boost because you have to kind of do the opposite push from the turn that you're doing. Like you're pushing into the leaning of the turn, really. But this is just like, you just have to like jump and then like turn actually with the turn. <laughs> like you can't, like you can't jump and then do the opposite of the turn. Like that's, 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 that screwed me up a couple times. See what it did. Shoot, shoot. Yeah. That Tommy Pickles one. I don't know if that's Tommy Pickles or not. This is a cute stage. I'm basically playing on a playground. Cool. Oh, jeez. Uh. What the? What is happening? How am I in second place? Gotcha. Embarrassing. I thought I, oh, I hit the wrong button. See, I don't use the Mario Kart buttons. Ah, uh, jeez. Thank you, Gary. Meow. Oh! Ugh. I thought I was gonna ram into it instead of drive through it. I think they got a great closing detection for those because I should not have driven through that. Just saying. Wait, uh, where'd he come from?
I have no idea what that did. I guess that was like a horn or something? Or the equivalent to the horn? In Mario Kart 8? What the hell was that? Actually, I don't even want to know what that was. it up to another victory right there. If you guys want to chat, again, the chat's open, so you can just throw in whatever you want in there. If anybody's watching this, hello. Hopefully you're doing all right there. Or out there, should I say rather. So, I'm Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Um, Cat Dog came in second, Lincoln third, SpongeBob in fourth, Helga, Pataki in fifth, Tommy Pickles in sixth, Sandy uh, in seventh, and Donatello, not Donnie. That's hello. Get it right. Uh, in eighth, so. I wonder who I unlock once I, like, win, uh, cups. I don't know. Hey, Rich, how are you? Yeah, right? I mean, hey. I, that's, that's the one, that's another reason why I wanted to play this, because I didn't see a lot of videos being played of this. So, I'm like, you know what? Man, it's got but what's going on? Um, yeah, it's, yeah, the I didn't I saw videos of the first kart racer and I I really wanted to try it and uh, I just didn't really care enough but I heard good things about it um, just that the controls of the first one didn't really feel too good this feels good though uh, the only thing is that the button layout as compared to Mario Kart 8 or whatever Mario Kart is a little way different. Um, so not for nothing, you gotta you gotta tell your brain like, no, this is not Mario Kart. So just take a second to learn the layout of the the, uh, the functions on each button. You know, acceleration, brake, item. Uh, they do have engineers and I guess character sidekicks that have a special ability that you get to pick after you pick your racer. Uh, so I got Filbert. You know, I'm playing Rocco, so you know, I guess. His meter fills up, I guess, with all the slime I collect. Gary cleans you off because he's part of the mechanic. Um, no, part of the me my mechan mechanic team, excuse me. So, and you see they, they fill up on the right hand side there. So, I'm gonna use Filbert, I guess he's a shield, it looks like. So. And, you know, it's like literally, like the blue shell. In this is the King Jellyfish. Green Shell is the Bouncy Ball from Rugrats. Um, you have the Homing Footballs. Footballs, obviously, from Hey Arnold. Um, you have the Electronic Pig uh, from Invader Zim. The Gnomes from Invader Zim. That are basically the Banana Peels. I just got screwed there. Uh, so, I mean, they literally just copied every... Yeah, see, look. Every single... <laughs> this is the Lightning Strike. Uh... They copied every single weapon from Mario Kart, it looks like. Uh, Mario Kart 8, and just reskinned it. And it's totally fine. And this game feels great. I think it's it, it's a pretty good uh, contender to Mario Kart, honestly, that's on all the consoles. And I'm playing on Xbox, so... You know, I... I if, if I'm gonna have a Switch, I'm gonna play Mario Kart 8, I'm gonna be honest. If I'm gonna put... see. King Jellyfish. Um, if I'm gonna play any like another kart racer, you know, like Crash Team Racing or um, you know this, you know, kart, Nickelodeon Kart Racers too, I'm gonna play it on the other systems. Sorry, like the Switch for me is oh, geez, the Switch for me is reserved by, for Mario Kart. You know, unless they redo Diddy Kong Racing, then um, that's basically it. Just basically give us Diddy Kong Racing. DS. With like better visuals, better graphics. Cause I love that game so much. And at least it has Conquer in it. We haven't seen Conquer in a damn thing in a long time, except for that uh, Project Spark. Spark oh, damn it, Project Spark. I think it was. That's where Conquer was. I remember on Xbox. 
That was like the most underwhelming announcement ever of all time. Ah, I just got screwed. Ever underwhelming announcement ever of all time. It's like, oh yeah, Conquer is in Project Spark. It's like, right? Like, why? Oh, that was close. I almost lost a cat dog of all things. I mean, that's cool. I like the cat dog mo the cat dog model. I like that. Oh joy! I like some of the names of the achievements there. Conquer is the man. I don't know why. Conquer Reloaded on Xbox is good, but they mess up the multiplayer. And they changed certain parts of the game, which nobody understood why. All they had to do was take... Oh. And they even put that that version, I think, on the, the rare replay. Like, why? Okay, Red and Stimpy are on the cover art. If they're not in the game, I, would, I don't understand what the hell they're doing. Hey, Winslow. What's going on? Love Winslow from Cat Dog. Okay, so I, I unlock Cat Dog. That kind of makes sense because he was my rival. Or Cat Dog was my rival. So, again, I'll go through some of the, the Grand Prix cups, like, or the cups here. Um, it's going to go on medium, just so you can play through it. Um, you got the Football Cup, Dikey Cup, Conglomo Cup, Neptune Cup, Arg Cup. Uh, Dream Cup and Super Slime Cup. So, yeah, no, Ren and Stimpy definitely are unlockable characters. But they're, you know, to say that they better be able, you better be able to play them as them in the game. Yes, they're they're on the cover, like they're right on top. If you can see them, they're right there, right there. Yeah, so like they're definitely there. I want to keep going as Rocco. Alright, go for Rocco. Rocco's my man. Yeah, so this is where you pick your chief. Uh, okay, so it actually tells you what the chief does. So I had Filbert before. He gave me protection, as we saw with the, the shells surrounding your car. Um, so it's kind of cool. You have, like, your character-specific power-ups, I guess, but you can pick your character-specific power-ups, which is pretty cool, uh, which you can't really do in Mario Kart. That's, pretty, that's a pretty cool upgrade. I think they actually did a very good job of taking that and, and building on that idea. Um, I must like look at all these different chiefs, man. That you can unlock. There's a lot of playability in this so far, from what I can see. I'm gonna try Winslow. Uh, crew engineer, drop one. No next item boxes. That's clever. I like this. The slime, yes, the slime helps build you up. Um, I think so too, Okami. Um, where they are, where Brandon and are playable, just not in the same car as the cover art. I, yeah, I can assume that, um, but you can change the skin of the carts, which is why I picked the most 90s skin so far that I can see. Um, so let's just see. Um, so the crew engineers, so I didn't really understand what the descriptions were until I was playing through each round. Um, so we got, you know, uh, Gary, Lenny, Kimmy, Eugene, and uh, Lawn Gnome. Uh, I mean, I do the squirrel. Um, I think this is evil. Drop lawn gnome next to item boxes. That's pretty evil. I'm gonna go with this. Eddie, you're, you're my man right now. And the secondary is gonna be... I wanna get a boost after getting... Yeah, I wanna go with Eugene. How could, how could Eugene give you an advantage and give you a boost when Eugene from Hey Arnold is like the most unlucky character possible? Like, I'm expecting my car to just fall apart. For like, no reason. Uh, like his bike did. So, engine. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna stick with the potato clock. The potato clock's cool, look at that though. I don't like the potato clock. That's so awesome. Oh! That's cute. I'm gonna go with these. And I mean, the, the confetti ones are 
pretty awesome. I like these. Yeah, I think I'm... I gotta cut back on the steering, because the steering, the higher it is, you're literally, like, all over the place, if you, as you saw there. So I'm gonna cut back on the steering a little bit, um, work on the drift. And so far, these are the, I guess these are the only skins that we get. Um, let me see real quick here. Yeah, that's all we get so far, or will get. And thank you for that, Richie. I appreciate that. Um, so, let's see what else we get here. I guess we'll find out. The tracks aren't too difficult, uh, it seems. Um, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can do your jump, you get a jump boost by coming off of, uh, you know, ramps and jumps and boost jumps uh, just by, you know, doing the jump into the drift button. Basically like Mario Kart, same thing. Except, you know, acceleration, you know, drift. Can't figure out how to get a boost. Out of my way, Helga. Really? I'm not Arnold. Right. Oh. Drifting is a little hard to get used to. But yeah, see the slime. The slime helps you out. It fills your uh, your sidekick's gauge meter there, uh, or personal item meter, or ability, I guess I should say. Let's see what this does. And he's supposed to drop a lawn gnome on top of an item, or next to an item box. So... There you go. You just saw it right there. Oh, you son of a... Mm. And you can shoot forwards and backwards with your items. I just got hit by a football. Awesome. Oh, I think this is the horn. Like, the equivalent to the horn. So if there's, like, a king jellyfish, I can probably take it out. I just want to get next to an, another racer seat. Oh, great. Yeah, so <laughs> the captain's hand is basically the squid ink. No, no, no! Uh, I should have used the item there. I didn't even think about that. Get off me! Wait. They are kind of relentless, though. Like, they just keep shooting items at you. Where did that even come from? Alright, Eugene was quite helpful there. Whoa, what the hell? See, Eugene definitely helped me out there because he gave me that boost. I like Winslow so far, because that helps a lot. And Eugene. I like Eugene, also. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. Dude, this is relentless. Oh, there's no way I could have avoided that as I slowed down. That, that one got a little crazy, because they just kept throwing stuff at me. And you saw the King Jellyfish there again, so... I guess it's the Nebula that acts as the horn. Because um, it just, like, shot a whole, like, ring around me, so I think that's just the horn. Uh, from Mario Kart 8. Avatar State, okay. Yeah, hits nearby opponents, hazards, and projectiles, time it right to protect yourself. Okay. So, the, the, the Avatar State, excuse me. Looks like a Nebula. Anyway, um... Yeah, Rocco's fast, man. It's just, you can. It's also the car customization. You can pick the engine and tires and whatnot. I guess I have to hit the before the red um, explodes. I guess because I gotta hit that at a certain time to get the, the starting boost. So the only thing I can assume right now, like my sixth race in this. No. 
no. I better not get hit by that ball. But the green shell, basically. Oh. Reptile. Actually, you know what? I might, I might, uh, cool as, as, uh, wine, um, I might test that out. I want to see if people are playing this online. Because that, that's a good question. I know it's sold. Not a lot so far, but I know it has sold. So, it's gotta be pl people playing it. That's actually a really good question. I didn't even think about that. You're joking. What is, what is happening? How? What? Oh, uh, jeez. Hit him. Oh, almost got him. Nostalgia racing for sure. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, like, Mario Kart is also nostalgia racing. <laughs> because we've been playing it since we were children. Um, but even that series, like, they just kept building on and off and getting better with each, with, with each entry. Excuse me. Um, some people don't like certain ones. I, I, I pretty much like all of them. Except for Mario Kart Wii. Mario Kart Wii is trash. In my opinion, but... Oh my god, I'm just getting bombarded by, like, everything. Oh, this kid... Oh my god! Give me that boost, give me that boost! Oh, he didn't... Can't, I can't get the boost. Ugh. Alright. I just gotta make it... I just gotta make it... <laughs> oh, you... Yes! What a shot! No! No! Boost, boost, boost! No? Ugh. Oh. I just got totally screwed at the end there. Like, certain characters have to have those specific things that they keep throwing at me. Because I keep thinking that it's just going to be, like, uh, <laughs> Reptar Nice, who that would be a great level. Um, I, th I guess, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, because there's certain times where I'm just like, how are these, like, I'm thinking, like, in America, like, how... In the original Super Mario Kart from Super Nintendo, like, how are they throwing these specific things constantly? And I'm like, oh, wait, this character's just specific items. And then in this, you have the, the crew member. So, I can only assume that's how they're doing it. So, I just gotta get used to that. I'm just gonna get bombarded. Ow, oh my god. I do like Eugene, when he gives you a boost when you get hit. That is extremely useful. Oh, come on, I need, a, I need an item. Look at this! Actually, just to go back to your point, Chibi, it's, uh, this would have been the perfect level to put Reptar <laughs> with the ice, so, just saying. Oh god, oh god. Yeah, they do. They, the spirits, yeah. Honestly, you know, in Smash Ultimate, some of the spirits, thank you for being there. Other spirits, you're trash. When you're facing those same spirits that you love with your setup, like have your setup with, and they're wrecking you, you're like, I hate those spirits. So, there's a lot of them. They went crazy with the spirits in Ultimate Smash. Or Smash Ultimate. Oh, my goodness. Well, the slime is the main mechanic to basically fill the gauge up for your crew members so that you can use their ability. So you have to get slimed, which is the Nickelodeon thing. So. And honestly, why would Winslow want to help me? He never helped anybody. It's the same.
Okay, so it also seems like when you do the boost, um, if you take your finger off the... Ah, damn it, I forgot to... I hit the wrong button. Uh, if you hit the boost and you take your finger off the accelerator for a second, it also gives you an additional boost. So it just seemed like it did that for a second, so it could be wrong, but... No, 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 no. Thank God. This is actually quite fun, though. I'm actually enjoying this very much. This is actually a pretty decent game so far. I've been telling people I know who also, you know, I talk to about games. I'm like, look, if you're going to rip off, like Crash 4, if you're going to rip off the best parts of certain uh, certain parts of other games, successful games, at least rip off the, the best parts of those games and improve on them. Um, this is, I think this has done that in my opinion. Six races in, and it just seems like they've done that. So, and that's, to me, I think that's, that's okay. That's totally fine. It's like, they, it's like that breakdown in the middle. It's just like, do, 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 do. It's like wow. It's like, heavy for like two seconds, and then it's like electronic. <laughs> Get that chugging guitar. Ah, you can't get a boost. Oh, you gotta hit do it twice or three times? I get it now. Okay. I get how that works to get the boost in the, in the beginning. Oh, where am I going? Yeah, that's fine. I um honestly, like the more uh, more kart racers doesn't necessarily mean better. Um, as long as it's well paced. Because sometimes, like, having the extra four racers just lag behind everybody else is kind of pointless. Just in my opinion. It, it is what it is. It is nice having them on there and getting more people to play together if you're going to do multiplayer. But honestly, when you're playing one player against a computer, and it, it really just really doesn't matter. At the end of the day. So I understand your point there with the eight card racers. And not to up like Mario Kart, but... It doesn't make a difference in my opinion. Somebody just fart? Oh yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was pretty good. It wasn't me, I swear. That was the gear. Haha. <laughs> Best SpongeBob. Sponge. Uh, okay, there we go. That's way more distracting, in my opinion, than the, the, uh, the bloops for the squid shot in Mario Kart. Takes up more of the screen real estate. So, Winslow's power, uh, as a crew member for me, when I use his power, he automatically drops a gnome, uh, lawn gnome when I, uh, pass an item box. Which actually can be very, very helpful. And then Eugene gives me a boost when he's charged up after I get hit. So that's kind of a... Oh my god, blue shell or... <sighs> King Squid. Or King Jellyfish, excuse me. Oh, I gotta get... The drifting is the one thing I gotta get used to, because I'm so used to jumping and turning against turns. Ah, like in Mario Kart. Like, I have to j drift and turn, ac actually turn into them. You know? Like, I can't, like, jump, land, and then just push against the turn. Like, this, you actually have to turn with the turn. Ah. It's like, whatever you knew about Mario Kart, if you're gonna play this game, forget it. That's fine. It's just... It's just like switching between PS, the PlayStation 4, DualShock, the Xbox One controller, and the Switch controller. Well, the button layouts are completely different. A, B, A, B, C, D, or A, B, X, Y are different. And then you're going to play, play with the symbols on a PlayStation controller. And then we want, then they wonder why we can't sleep at night. Oh, a Powdered Toast Man? Oh, no. I was going to use the Powdered Toast Man and I got taken away from me. Uh, I have 
no idea what the Powder Toast Man does. No, 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 no. Oh, there's a King Jellyfish coming for me. I was like, no, 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 please, no. Sorry, Gerald. Took you out, Gerald. Hang. Yeah. Yeah. Should have been in. He should have been the avatar in last. <laughs> uh, I actually said a pun. I'm very proud of myself. I am terrible at puns. I'm absolutely terrible at puns. Ah! You're... Thank you, Chibi. Yeah. I got Gerald's just chilling. Like, Rocco's just checking on his list. I don't know what he's checking out, but okay. Oh, so, okay. You get, like, additional tokens. Hey, Grandpa Phil. Get a Yahoo Soda after you use another item. Whatever you do, never eat every raspberries. It's funny. Ah, Phoebe. Deflect projectiles as far as loyal friends can... As far as loyal friends go, you can't ask for a better one. That actually might be useful. There's never hair in the place. He did have, like, the legit afro. I forget who said it before on the chat, but I might have to check out the multiplayer to see if they're actually people playing. Okay, so... Epic Cup. I don't know which one. Which one should I go for? Should I go for the Super Slime Cup, the Dream Cup, Arg Cup? Neptune Cup, Conglomo Cup, or Dipey Cup. I don't know which one I should do. <gasps> the Conglomo Cup has a double dare obstacle course? Oh. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I got Neptune Cup and I got an agreement for the, the Conglomo Cup. Who wants to be a tiebreaker? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if they have rocket power. I'm not quite sure. Somebody probably is looking it up right now. I honestly don't know. I'm going to go with Conglomo Cup. I'm sorry. Sorry, Richie. I do apologize. I'm going with Conglomo Cup. Oh, you got it's got a TMNT track? Oh, it's dope. Can't wait to get that. Yeah. Alright, so we unlocked Gerald and Capital, so I'm sick with Rocco going. That's my guy. Uh, we got Phoebe now. Reflect fun coming projectiles. I don't like uh... See this this is gonna require my brain paying attention with Phoebe and reacting and such. So I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Oh, Yahoo Soda freebie with every item. I don't know what Yahoo Soda is, though. What it does. I don't think I've seen it yet. So. I, mean, I, uh, I might stick with Eddie. No, oh, it's a touch right ramp up, though. I'll stick with Eugene. Eugene is a godsend, because Eugene. Man. They. You get once you get hit, you get that extra boost when he's charged. That is so helpful. Yeah, I like the setup. City sports. I like the setup. This setup is totally fine. It's all good. Cheers. Diapy stink. That's what it was. That's where the the farts came from in the cave in the last race. That diapy stink bomb. That is awesome! Look at this track! That is so cool! 
Well done. I, I like what I see so far. That's, that's well done right there. Ah, I missed it. Did they actually do a remix of the Double Dare theme? Ah, okay. So I hear that, hear that building up. I'm, I can't recognize it right now. This is like straight nostalgia. Although I gotta, I have to say there needs to be more in the way if they're gonna make it a double bear course. And not just like slime spewing out everywhere. Like you gotta have things on the track, like literally trying to take you out more than this, like a wall or two. This is pretty awesome, though. Not gonna, not gonna lie, this is pretty cool. Life is Yeah! Okay, so she can't really take out the... King Jellyfish. I don't know, Gamer Fan, I'm not quite sure. I haven't gotten that far yet. I haven't really looked into it. I just popped the game in and started playing, so I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you guys can look it up. So, which would be a shame because Jimmy Neutron was pretty big in the in the early 2000s. So, I wouldn't see why not. I just gotta remember that Phoebe, my crew member, can. Reflect projectiles. But I gotta remember to do that at the right time, though, and basically pay attention. <sighs> I hit the wrong button again. Uh, soda pop. All right. Okay, so soda pop is the mushroom from Mario Kart. Oh, oh, Phoebe. Oh, no, one time I need Phoebe. See, now they're all just shooting everything at me. I got it. Okay. Yeah, so they... they copied every single item from Mario Kart 8 and just turned it into something. Is that Heifer? Hey! I think I'm gonna unlock Heifer as a character. I wonder if Chokey Chicken is a... <laughs> Chokey Chicken is a, is a track. Or is it at least on the track. Too. That's how you get the boost. Okay, so they actually made that more interactive. I like that. Instead of just hitting the button at the right time, you have to get to get the boost at the start of the race. You got to make it. They made it interactive. That's cool. You get hit it three times. Red, yellow, green. That's cool. Whoa! 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 Oh man. Wait, hold on. This, this is the whole. This is the whole one course. I just realized what this is from. Huh. Awesome. Oh, the Papa Golf Course. It like didn't hit me at first. Uh, reflect, reflect, reflect. I think I did the. I think I reflected the football back. No, no. Boost me, boost me. Yes, Eugene. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Yeah. Oh, has. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Ow, ow, ow. Uh, see, the drift is like way d oh, I'm screwed. The drift is like way different. See, I wish that Phoebe can reflect the, the uh, king jellyfish there, which is the blue shell. 
Is that log? There's a log. Oh no, no, no! Uh. Yes! Okay, so Phoebe's very, very helpful. If you time it right. So if you see like any footballs coming at you, which is basically a red shell, um, she'll reflect it. Back, backward. Not at somebody, but backward. And if you couldn't tell, the slime charges up your crew member's ability, so that's why there's slime everywhere. You're wondering. Another King Jellyfish? And a football. And a jellyfish. <laughs> Uh, always the final lap. Oh, I didn't even see that shortcut. I am just terrible at life. Come here. No. That's Tommy Pickles. <laughs> yes. I like that it gives you a warning of what's coming. That's pretty cool. It's basically me driving just backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards. I think I may increase to hard next. Because I just want to see how evil the CPU opponents get. Like that they call like Team NT they call them Ralphie and Mikey and Donnie and it's like just call them Donatello and Michelangelo, Raphael. I'm sorry, just don't mess with the names. Uh, kidifying them, in my opinion, pulls kids away from it. And then when kids look into the past, they get they like the past versions more. Just saying, I wasn't paying attention. Because the past versions are cooler. Like, the comics are awesome. The original anime, the, the original Peanut Ninja Turtles animation was awesome. The original movie, maybe the second one, if you're into that, also were pretty good. Yeah. This one is involved, like split paths and jumps and whatnot. Oh, come on, I thought I jumped that. Oh, there we go. What the? I just realized what this was. This is TMNT. I am incredibly stupid. Oh, I just, I didn't see that. Oh. Could use BB right there. Let's use it anyway, because I'm going to lose it when I get hit by Queen, uh, King Jellyfish. Out of my way. <laughs> Come on, Lucy, get my way. You're not gonna win anyway. Oh, oh. oh my god, I just got screwed. Yeah, I have to repeat it. I like you, but I hate you right now. No! I thought it was gonna go a lot farther. To the right. Yeah, just walked right into that. Phoebe's useful. Yeah, I like Phoebe. Phoebe's good. I did not see that in front of me. <laughs> oh, no, not, a king. not another King Jellyfish. This is insane. It's like the third one. Of course, it hits me at the right time. Yeah. No. This part's hard, though. With the jumps and whatnot? Gosh, just wasted it. Again, Eugene's a godsend with that boost. After you get hit, Eugene's a godsend. 
No. 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 Oh, thank God. It always seems to be like right at the end of a race, they just like just go like da -da 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 -da, just like trying to throw everything at you. Oh. What happens in Mario Kart also? It's like guys, like are you just literally getting everything or is the game just like no, no, don't let them win. <laughs> it's so much fun though. Because it, it it makes me feel like engaged more in the game if the game is doing that like it feels cheap but at the same time i'm not just playing the game like okay i got this i'm gonna win like if they're just gonna kind of they got to put some challenge into it which is that i'm totally fine it seems right it seems like the right amount of challenge which is okay and i can't wait to see what hard mode has to uh to uh present to me but we'll see hey it's old town nice Ha! Choke a chicken! There it is. Yeah! Sweet. Yeah, I love this. Anybody watch the movie? On Netflix? I, I should have watched it already. I'm a terrible fan. Like, I was so excited for it to come out. It came out, never watched it. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Did they not get the rights to some of the music? Is it just me? Because this is a Nickelodeon game and they should be able to get the rights of the theme songs to the games. Uh, to the shows, I mean. Is it just me? That, that seems a little weird. Like in the Double Dare level, I was expecting the Double Dare theme. I got it, yeah, I gotta watch it. Oh, man. Maybe sometimes this week after I get my oral oral surgery done. Uh. I just love how like Rocco just made fun of everything about everyone <laughs> in, this, in, in the original series, it's, and from the trailer, it's just like. You know, it seemed like it was doing that for modern day, which is awesome. Yeah, no music from the show. Uh, yeah, see, again, it's Nick, it, Nickelodeon owns it. it ha uh, they should own it. I don't see why they couldn't just put the theme songs in the games. Or at least you unlock them or pay for them. Pay for them but, like, you unlock them <laughs> so you can have them. I don't know, it just seems a little silly to me. Yes, I agree. Uh, cool as Wayne and Okami, I completely agree. I think they should have at least... Like, I can understand they kind of went for the surfer vibe, because that was the... You know, I... If you watch Rocco, like, there was parts of the show where the, the, the music was very, you know, surfer rockish. That's okay. Um, but I'm expecting the Rocco's Modern Life theme... The original one with the B-52s, or the the later season three and four theme, but it was a little, uh, a little more upbeat. And yeah, there's no voices. I just noticed that. Huh? Like they like almost all of the actors, voice actors who did these characters are still alive. <laughs> <laughs> You're absolutely right. There's a, no, there's no voices, no catch. Well, and maybe, maybe they thought because people do complain about hearing the same catchphrases over and over again in a the game, they were like, you know what, let's just not do any. But at that point, you're making the game. Just have it come out like once or twice during a race, or even through an entire cup. Or not for nothing, these games are like a thousand gigs now, or like a terabyte. So. It's, it's an infinite amount of space they have to to work with, so they couldn't just do like a quick, you know, voice track. Which, when I record stuff, doesn't take up that much space, honestly. So, and then they compress and compress anyway to fit it into the game. So it wouldn't take up much space to at least file space to do. Anyway, that's that's very weird. That's a good that's a good call out, Okami. I didn't think about that. There was there's no character voices and no narration either. 
I would have loved like the, the the SpongeBob just the narrator kind of just starting the race like each race. Or like if you think about like Wave Race 64, how you had the announcer with the tricks and stuff like that, or if you unlock the road announcer with a cheat code, um, something at least instead of just driving the carts. But then again, we all have Mario Kart 8, and there are character voices in Mario Kart 8. So. That's interesting to me. Hey, Beep Pop and Rocksteady. <laughs> okay, so Beep Pop and Rocksteady bump straight into an opponent and get a speed boost. That's actually useful. April? What did they do to April? Anyway. Get a boost and disappear in a cloud of smoke. Think Ninja, think Ninja. Ever! Great pebbles, literally. It's funny, because a lot of things that they did in that show, even in Ren and Stimpy, we did not get until we got older. That's why I love looking back on a lot of those shows, because they did not care at all. <laughs> they didn't have a filter or anything, they just created stuff. Um, I, mean, I, I think somebody, I forget who it was, I do apologize, said in the chat, Neptune Cup like, unlocks Squidward. Ooh, yeah, you know what, I'm going to try online. Somebody, I think he pointed it out too. Uh, online. Matchmaking for. I don't have friends. Just you guys watching. But I don't have friends, so I'm just gonna do matchmaking. <laughs> uh. Pepper! <laughs> it's literally the chokey chicken. Car. <laughs> It's so stupid. But it's funny. Come on, I have to do this. It's, it... It looks like Bowser's... Car... Uh, you know what I'm talking about. I completely just blanked out there. Uh, I'm sick of my Phoebe, man. I, I don't bump into a lot of opponents, so that's... I don't know. I'm gonna stick with... Uh, Phil and Eugene. And I would like more paint jobs. Just saying, three paint jobs is. Eh. Let's see if anybody's actually playing this online, or if it just kind of creates a game and then it's just you know, you're playing against CPU opponents because it feels bad for you that you bought this game and no one's playing online. <laughs> I don't know. I, maybe maybe more people are playing on Switch or PS4. I I don't know. I want to see if it actually times out. And it's like you need more friends. Come back when you have more friends. I let's see. Because whose servers would it be coming from? Would it be coming from Nickelodeon servers, or Game Mill Entertainment, or Bamtang? Bamtang? I don't know even who that is. I'm, just, I'm sorry, I'm looking back at the box to see who made this. Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe they just kind of like, said, online mode, and then kind of assumed that no one's going to play it anyway online, so... <laughs> just like, put it there anyway. It'll never work. We'll put it there anyway. Um, uh, I don't think this is gonna work. This is not like Super Mario Bros. 35 on the Switch, where literally you just hit, okay, join, and then just, boom. Room full of 35 people, 34 other people, immediately. That game is good, if you haven't tried it. I've streamed it a couple times, I've won a few rounds, and, uh, it's really fun. Yeah, you know I'm gonna try that, you're right, I'm gonna try that cool as well. I'm gonna go, I have to do all this again. Uh, channel my favorite. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's. <laughs> I don't think anybody's playing this on Xbox, or if at all. So, to me, the game's fun. It's 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 a good kart racing game that's on all platforms. So, support, I guess. If you want to see this, I mean, I guess people like the first one enough to warrant the second game a sequel. So, I mean. It's not happening. <laughs> this is definitely not happening. Uh, I mean, it also just came out two days ago. So, two two days ago. To be fair, it give it some time. Give it like Christmas time. I'm pretty sure like kids will open and be like, oh, Nickel and Car Races. And, yeah. But then they start playing and they're gonna start liking and people will get it. Um. Oh, it's Tuesday. Hey, so I got it two days early. Or four days early. Let's go with that. Um, whenever you're watching this, the game's out. Um, let's go with that. <laughs> so, let's try fast, because I want to see how evil the computer gets. Oh, okay, so wait, I get ranks for each one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on time. Um... Wait, air to oh, okay, so it's Dream Club, Dream Land, Dream Land, Ghost Zone, Tech oh, Techno Drum Takedown. That looks pretty cool. Uh, Space Madness, Most Haunted Tour, Dream Land again? Wait, they put Dream Land in there twice? Oh, they took, I guess, the hardest souls, the Super Slime Cup. They put it on the Super Slime Cup, so. Do I unlock? I don't know if I unlock more cups, though. Doesn't seem like I do. I don't know. I'm gonna go fast. Well, why did I hit back? Okay. Anyway, so let's do the Dipey Cup. No, no uh, I don't need Chucky. I'm gonna go Squidward. I wanna see how big they, they made his nose. Nature O Rama. That makes that's 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 adorable. Uh Spirit Spirit Wolf's pretty cool. Lost City of Atlantis looks insane. So let's go with that. <laughs> Uh, it's like I could do two. I could do 200 CC in Mario Kart 8, no problem. I I just want to see how how tough this can get in this. So. <laughs> I'm sorry. This just makes me laugh. Oh, I double tapped. No boost for you. <laughs> this is such a good episode, though. I love this episode. Come on, Heifer. He's Heifer's totally Bowser. <laughs> he's, he's totally Bowser. And I like his drifting skills. His drifting skills aren't all over the place. That's a short track. Oh, you son of a... Oh, I should... No. How did it hit me? Uh -huh. Oh, I didn't even know what that did. Nice. Oh, wait, that actually can totally screw me. Uh... Oh, it's like a golden mushroom, but it throws gnomes all over the track. That's insane! That was pretty cool. Oh, the, the golden mushroom, I have to re I have to refill with the slime now. Okay, I get it. So you gotta use it the, the, during the right parts of the track then. Oh. 
Oh. Uh. Sometimes there's like so much going on that I just can't, can't control it. Get her, get her, get her. No, no. Oh, so close. Lucy? I thought that was Phoebe. Why did I call her Phoebe? Lucy! My bad. Phoebe's my crew member. <laughs> okay, so that's what that is. That's the cool shield. Okay. Okay, Slime Grand Prix. I don't know. It's a modern character. Let's see coming now. Sorry. No. Okay, so the bumping into would be useful right now. <laughs> the the bumping into get a boost. A uh, bumping into other drivers would get a boost uh, ability would be great right about now. Says go go go. It's like no no no. It just say stop stop stop. Oh my god! What is going on? Come on, catch up. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, here with that. There's a lot going on in this level. Okay. Sorry, I saw, I saw a football come in and I was like, I gotta use the TV. Yes, Eugene. Yes. Oh. What? Where did they even come from? Oh, God. Is that Squidward? That's Squidward. I just realized who that was. Hey, Squidward. Come to me, Squidward. Oh, oh, that's why I'm going so slow. Uh, just in case. Actually, fast is pretty fun. Basically, a hundred. Where'd they come from? It's hundred percent CC. Oh, oh yes, yes. The avatar thing is the, the horn. I was right. Oh, I didn't even hit. Oh my god, I just got screwed. Damn it! Second place. Ah. Oh. Right about right amount of challenge though. It's not like super unfair, but that that one was just like really crowded, like right in the beginning there. So this this thing, the Avatar State weapon, that's the horn from Mario Kart 8. And I just used it on the blue shell pig and jellyfish. Yeah. Awesome. It's actually pretty fun, I'm not gonna... I actually might be playing this. It actually kind of feels better than... Crash Night Short Park. Yeah, Crash Team Crash Racing, the... Recent remake. Sorry. It does. Although, um, uh, okay, so Crash Team Racing has the story mode and the... And everything, so... There's that. So it wins on that plane. 
which is why I'm saying Nintendo or Rare or somebody, please remake Diddy Kong Racing. Anyway, um, can't see. Um, yeah. So, but this this is a fun game. This is good. I like this. I enjoy this. Like right behind me. How am I supposed to react to that? How am I supposed to just feed me like with somebody shooting a football or a red shell like right at me? Like just right next to me. As soon as I say it, somebody does. Uh, I'm gonna come on. Yeah, do it. Oh, oh what a come back! What a come back! Ah, yes! Look at that. Ah. Oh. Pull that one out of my ass. Never give up on the end of a race, ever. Especially in car racers. <laughs> Never give up. Toy ball is basically a green shell. This is pretty cool. I like this. Fast mode, so it's uh, slow, medium, and fast. It's basically 50 cc, 100 cc, and 100 cc. I just don't know if I unlock like a faster mode, like a very fast or a super fast or something, or if I unlock any of the cups. Like maybe. I don't know if they went the super circuit route. That Mario Kart super circuit route. We'll see, but. Doing? I'm not even paying attention. Like, no, I just want to get hit by an, uh, by an item. Cool. Oh, come on. I'm just waiting for somebody to shoot a king jellyfish or a homemade football. Yep, there's a king jellyfish. 
get hit. I'm just gonna use BB right now, because they're probably gonna get close to me. I'll shoot something. Come on, fill up, fill up. Uh, short. I'm waiting for another King Jellyfish, honestly. That was actually pretty cut and, cut and dry. Uh, two second place finishes and super one uh, first place finish. Finishes. I don't like they call him. Why would they call Raphael Raph? What is that? Yes. Um. Also, has anybody replayed? Or not replayed? Has anybody played the remake of uh, uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom? It's actually quite good. Um, loading times are trash, but it's a pretty faithful remake or remaster. It's not a remake, it's a remaster. They basically just took the PS2 game, Xbox game, and just remastered them. Didn't touch it at all, like graphically. It's quite good, actually, if, if, if you want a nostalgia remake. Or a uh, nostalgia kick. It's not full price either, which is a plus. That's always a plus. Rehydrated is good. I, I, I liked it, but they could have improved on the loading times and some of the visuals. They literally just took the old game and put it... They, they basically did what Mario 3D All-Stars did and just took those games, went widescreen, and that's basically it. And up the resolution. Which, is, which can be a cop-out, but not for the price that they were doing it at. Sorry. But I don't, I don't, and to be... To be clear, I don't have a problem with Mario 3D All-Stars. I think it's a good compilation. I think they could have taken their time and just touched up a few things. But they're Nintendo. They know it's going to sell. Because, to be honest, let's admit it, we're all suckers. Faithful, faithful suckers. But, it's fun. Ah, Baxter Stockman. Get a mouser after you get you have to use another item. Hey, everyone use a mock them, but soon they'll see his genius. Mako? Ego? Uh, get slime with any drift boost, that's pointless. You could be cool with him in the fire. No, he's never, I'm never gonna use that guy. Mr. Krabs! Grab slime tokens to power up a, to power up a boost. And Squidward. I think someone, uh, Squidward's uh, somebody's favorite character here. Talk about Squidward twice. Ne Neptune Cup. Neptune Cup. Neptune Cup. <laughs> Who do I unlock with the Arc Cup, though? And what the heck is the Dream Cup? Whatever. I'm just gonna do Arc Cup. <laughs> you know what? Just for that, I'm gonna try Squidward. Where is he? Where is he at? There he is. What did they do to April? What is, what is this? Why is April... What is this? Ah, I'm sorry. That's... Nope. I'm sorry, Nicole. Uh, this is bad. Try, I'm gonna try Mr. Krabs. See how, how he plays. I liked Phoebe because she she reflects any projectile that's coming towards you. Shooting the right spots is very helpful. Um, this is what I was saying before in in the second track of the Neptune Cup. Get a boost when you bump opponents because it's so like claustrophobic. You're gonna be running into everybody, so you can just like take off. Um, this guy's pointless. I don't know, you could drift boost to give slime, but the drift boosts you ha boost you actually have to get. But how much slime? And if you have somebody like a like the chief, like your crew chief here, you know, get a short boost and invincibility. So you can kind of combine April and, and Mako. I guess. Um, and kind of use those two in tandem. 
for a good combo. That's what I like. This it's starting to get strategic now. The more things I unlock, so that, that that's pretty cool. What's this? Air Nomad works like the Air Temple Sanctuary doors. Nice. The drift is ridiculous with this thing. Holy crap! Saw that? Look at that. It's done straight up. Basically full. It's awesome. Let's see what this does. It bubbles. Yeah, it's pointless. Confetti. I like the confetti more. No? Old and rusty. Flames are cool. Alright. Confetti. That was a really weird smile from Squidward there. So I really hope they patch in vocals, like voice acting, little clips here and there, and actual remnants of the theme songs. Just saying. I think somebody said before that was a complaint about the first one, and they were just like, you know what? People are crazy. We're, like, we're going to do the same thing in the second game. why they would do that, but hopefully they, they change their mind. Oh my god, this is crazy. There's so much happening. What was that? Jeez. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Alright, so... Mr. Krabs is definitely worth it in spots you know where the slime tokens are. Is that a boomerang? It's a boomerang. That's a... I legit just copied Mario Kart 8. Oh my god. Every slime token with uh, Mr. Krabs that I grab, not only does he like act as a magnet for the slime tokens, but each slime token grab gives you a boost. Our are actually pretty useful. In these certain sections, where there's a lot of slime tokens, that is awesome. I think I used it a little too early there, I keep going. Boost, 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 boost. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Yes. Dead You're dead. You're dead. Oh, you get a joke on me. Second again. Oh, man, some of these like races are ridiculous. I do like a challenge though. Oh, Clyde, I'm gonna unlock. Who's Clyde? I guess I'm not as well versed in modern cartoons as I thought. But we go from like Tommy Pickles to Squidward to Heifer to SpongeBob to Clyde. Enough already. They're like really evil and fast uh, mode. Oh my god, enough! Is that a Krabby Patty? 
I would have loved if you're Squidward and you got the Krabby Patty power up right there if he gave you the face, the smiley face that he does when he finally has a Krabby Patty. That is like one of the most, that was one of the funniest things that they think SpongeBob ever drew, or the animators ever drew. Or SpongeBob's face, rather. <laughs> Smile. Squidward going insane. I love that. That one of the funniest things I've ever drawn. Or drawn. Uh. Hey, you know what? Yeah, yeah, computer, you take that stupid CPU. Power Toast Man! So he's a star! He's a superstar! Yes. Wait. Hold on a second. Everybody gets it? What kind of crap is that? What the crap? Oh, and I can I have to use the coins to get the power up. That's kinda stupid. Like everybody gets that. I don't like that. Like everybody like if you get like access to like a super weapon, I guess. Everybody has access to it. That's kinda silly. There's no point to it then. Really good. I wish I had this for credit right now. Oh, I'm just short, you think? Oh, he didn't grab it then? Oh. Thank god I finished it first. Dodge it, oh man. Jeremiah, how, how are you? Can't, okay, so if you're a huge fan of Nickelodeon shows, and thank you for joining me, can you explain who Clyde is? Because I don't know who Clyde is. He's definitely the unlockable character here in this uh, cub. And my apologies for not knowing, because I'm playing Nickelodeon Kart Racers. But it's just, I, I don't know modern. Like, he's right there. Wow, who's Clyde? Then why does he not have a silly name like every other character in this game? This is my first time playing uh, Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix, so... Um, I've done, like, four cups so far, and this game is actually really fun. Um, again, just some of the sound design is, you know, the same complaint as somebody said in the first game. Not, no, no vocal sound clips, no voice acting in this. And also, what I point out, they own the rights to the theme songs. Why not just do put the theme songs in there? What do y'all want to hear? Or at least remakes this, or at least something faithful to the original. Oh, what the... Oh, I just got screwed there. Oh no! Oh my 
God, how did I end up in first? Wow. That was nuts. Guess I went the right way. <laughs> Loud House, okay. Somebody said Loud House earlier. Okay, thank yeah, thank you, Okami. I think you're the one that said the uh, point out Loud House. I I have to check that out. Uh, which is the only modern show here, okay. Alright. So my apologies for not knowing that. Um. Seriously, they have Cat Dog here, but they don't have Jimmy Neutron and just a little odd. No rocket power? Hmm. DLC paywall. DLC. DLC. Season pass. Because, you know, people will pay for the season pass for including car races to Grand Prix. <laughs> no offense to anyone watching who made the game, but still. You want to make the game noticeable? Just go Smash Bros. Ultimate and put every freaking Nintendo character, Nintendo, Nickelodeon character, Nicktoon character in this. At the start of the game, and then just keep adding on after that. Oh, duh. I didn't even, thought, I didn't even know he was the, the gauge was full. I'm supposed to go. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to turn left there. <laughs> this is a pretty cool track. I like how this, how this looks. Oh, jeez. Come on. Uh, I don't think the boost would work here. Um. Yeah, so, uh, Fernando, if you're still watching, the slime builds up the gauge on the top right-hand corner for your crew member that you get to select uh, before you uh, play the Grand Prix or start your race or whatever. Um, they have special abilities, and when you fill up that meter, they unleash that special ability. What the hell just happened there? Uh, how did I get turned around like that? Glitches! What's Gremlin? Hey, how you doing? Oh, so I guess... I guess the burger is the... golden mushroom? Seriously, did anybody else see that? I just got to turn around 180. Out of nowhere, for no reason. And that totally screwed me in this race. Oh, I can still come back. Like Mr. Cra oh, shit. Mr. Crab's ability is when, he, uh, when I have it activated, he homes all the slime coins, and every slime coin I have, every slime coin I grab gives me a boost. Thought I killed myself there. That would have sucked. Uh, Oh my god. Oh, what? Oh no. Uh, oh, no, no. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, I got totally screwed with the game turning me around 180. That sucked. Still finishing first now. <laughs> Ah, uh, eat it, Clyde. So the loading screens are going to be pointless on the Series X because it's going to go pink, and it's just you're going to be like, "What? What did you say?" He honestly should be playing his clarinet and doing interpretive dance. Just, just saying kind of doing it. So. Team Sonic Racing is okay. It's not Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, or at least the second one. Uh, Sonic All-Stars Racing. 
That's on the Wii U. That one's fun. Time, Team Sonic Racing is okay. Yeah, I was talking about Crash Bandicoot Racing. Crash... The CTR... This actually feels better than the remake of CTR. But CTR has more to offer. So... Kinda like... And they're gonna remake anything Diddy Kong Racing for the third time. Drop a lawn gnome once your slime bar has filled with your opponents no matter, no matter what. That's clever. Uh, new crew member... Oh. Jump boosts will get you slime. Okay. Let's see. New chief. Lisa. Disable opponents' vehicles and greatly reduce their boosts. Say tomato, she says. Oh, come on. They kind of racing airplanes, hovercrafts. It's like the coolest thing about that game is they designed every level where it worked with all three types of carts. That's what I love about that game. So clever. Always ready for whatever making this plan. I think I'm going to do one more cup. I'm going to call it a day. I've been going for a couple hours at least. Um, and unfortunately, multiplayer mode, or online mode, is kind of non existent right now because the game's technically not out yet. So maybe if I jump back on and play this, you know, I'm, I'm going to. Not only am I playing this, but I'm also playing this, which is fantastic in VR. Star Wars Squadrons is amazing in PlayStation VR. For the love of God, please try that. And then Crash Bandicoot, I'm going to keep playing. So, um, which I was streaming last Wednesday, and I th yeah, so I got to do part six of that. Um, I'm also going to keep streaming Super Mario Bros. 35. I'm going to keep doing. Uh, I'm going to start doing retro stuff. So I'm going to start playing Monster Party this week on the NES. Uh, I, talk about? I have to look back because I mentioned something else in the beginning of the stream. Uh, that's kind of like, you know, October Halloween theme. A splatter house, maybe. Um, not the 360 version, PS3 version, even though I actually do like that. Uh, I'm going to do the diaper cup. You know what? No, I'm not going to do the diaper cup. I want to see what this is. I want to see who I unlock in the Super Slime Cup. We have Zim! I don't know. That's pretty useful. Disable our opponent's items and chief skills. Uh, so let them be like carts. Yeah, but that, how, how close do they have to be? That's my only thing. Uh, I like Phoebe because you, you're gonna get a lot of stuff thrown at you, like a lot. Um, from what I, at least from what I can tell, uh, Mr. Krabs is useful if you know the the track layout already because he homes in those slime coins that you collect, and if each one you get a boost. So that's that's a make or break kind of thing right there because if you're kind of like in second or third and you use that, you're gonna get a boost and it's gonna put you in first place if they're in the right spot. Um, Pencil's kind of useful. I'm gonna go with Phoebe again. I like her. Who did we get a second ago? Toph? Jump boost, skip slime, kind of, yeah. I'm gonna keep Eugene, because this... Getting a boost a uh, after recovering from a hit is, is a godsend. That is... That's fantastic. And not for nothing, like, get free slime tokens. Does that work in conjunction with Mr. Krebs? I don't know. Uh, <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna go with the free toy ball. Because I need that extra item. I just want that extra item. But I, I do like the fact that each one of these choices is plays to some kind of strategy. 
That's what I like. Mario Kart 8 does not have that because you're basically just building a cart with this you know, cart, the parachute, and tires. This, it has to deal with the weapons and everything. That's actually cool. That's, it's, that's very good. And the, I like how they did the boost, because it's interactive instead of just waiting for the right time to hit it. You actually have to hit it at the right time three times. That's actually awesome. I actually wish they, have a, they had a Naked Knight themed uh, track. Or like a Snick track. Yeah. Am I wrong to say that? I don't know. Like a What Would You, what would you Do track, or a Wild and Crazy Kids track, or a Legends of Hidden Temple track, or. Oh, get the Picture track, Finders Keepers, Guts, something. Guts would be perfect for this. And, uh, by the way, the Nickelodeon Guts any SNES game is awful. Like, just straight up awful. Don't ever play that game. You just hate life, you just hate yourself, maybe. Just don't play that game. Nick Arcade! That's another one! Good call. Man. What happened to Nickelodeon? Seriously. I don't care that we got older, it's just they used to have a lot cooler stuff. And shows, personalities, like what happened to you guys? Time too. But they're gonna catch up because rubber banding. Oh, oh. oh, what just happened? It just like flew me off the track. Why? Oh. Second glitch in like the, the second straight track right there. Oh, come on. Oh, I want to come back. Oh, I got lucky. Hmm. Wow. I was not feeling that race at all whatsoever until I just squeaked that really that much. That was amazing. That's called lucky. I wish it would show a replay instead of just like the, the drivers just driving on the track. I missed that from the kart racers. Like, why can't we just have Forza or Gran Turismo and just make a game like this? Like, seriously, like a spin off of Forza or Gran Turismo. Just call them, you know, Forza Kart or a Gran, Tur Gran Tur you know, Turismo Kart or something. With, like, real cars where you're just throwing just random stuff at actual real cars on real tracks. I don't know. I think I'd find that interesting. So, I like the simulus uh, realistic simulation racing games. That's okay. But, like, at the same time, like, let's, make, let's do a spin off. Let's make it fun. Because then it'll also, it might also get people into the series. Whoever happened to Midnight Club and like all these other racing games that used to be out there. Out there. No. Okay, I actually like the song on this a little bit. It's pretty good. It's upbeat for the, the track. Because this kind of comes off like a Bowser's Castle kind of thing. So. Oh! Get out of my way. Oh, 
Actually, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like having the accelerator on the right trigger. As compared to just you know like you know Y and B, or X and B, Y and B on the switch. On the right part, kind of. I don't have anything against that actually. Stole my weapon again. Ah. They seem to time these weapon, oh, weapon attacks perfectly. As I'm saying that, they time it perfectly. Awesome. Come on. Come on. Need it. to react to that when I have a full gauge with Phoebe there and I can reflect those projectiles. Oh, I almost got him. Such a tight quarter, like how are you supposed to drift in there? You gotta wipe that up a little bit. You have a joke in No! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Hmm. You're getting lucky. You're getting real lucky. That's what I was saying. I said, I said it a while ago. I said, I want to see on the fast mode how evil the <laughs> computer or the CPU can get. Make it pretty damn evil at the end. They just start ber berating you with just like weapon after weapon. Oh, and it seems like they all catch up, like, right at the end there. Oh. I agree. There are a lot. And we don't know fully who's in this game yet. Maybe if it's out there on the internet, I'm not quite sure. But there are a lot of things, uh, a lot of um, shows and properties they can throw in this. But I guess they're just choosing not to. Maybe because due to licensing or something. But they own all that stuff, though. I just don't understand. That's the only thing. Like, they solely own that stuff. Oh, this is cool. Why come as to own all that stuff? Uh, I don't know. It's odd. This seems like, um, I'm blanking on the name in Mario Kart, but like the music rhythm. Oh, the tech, the, the techno drum, not techno drum. The, the disco ball one with like the music and the keyboard or the piano there. That's what this comes off as. How did I not hit you? Oh, jeez. What, what did I even get hit by? Oh. This is rough. Oh, come on. There we go. What just... I don't even know what hit me. Thank you, Easy. Easy. Really? That's kind of pointless. I could help me for a second. <laughs> I should shut my mouth. That, sh that shield was actually quite helpful there. Ah, oh, damn. No, it's just sitting on the other side. Like, 
intense, man. Can't see, can't see, can't see, can't see. What? It shot it, it shot it away from them? Go, go, go. Go. No, 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 no. I'm gonna finish her. Ah, damn, I got screwed at the end there. Ah, come on. Oh, there's Ren. I just realized Ren is there. I am so stupid. So I'm unlocking Ren. Awesome. I guess Stimpy is a uh, chief boss, possibly. Almost has to be. I hope he has like a thing with soap. Man, the CPU is evil in fast mode here. Sounds like a certain Street Fighter theme. In the beginning there. Out of my way. Your nose, why are you itching? Oh, what is happening? There's like so much going on. <laughs> Relentless, man. Oh, almost got run. Steal my weapon. Are you kidding? Oh, what? Thank you, Eugene, for the boost. Appreciate that. Thanks, bro. I gotta get you a new bike. Poor kid. the baseball card is close. Oh man, come on. Come on, oh, oh, oh. I'm not hitting anybody. No, no! Ah, damn it. I'm not supposed to get out of the way of that. Surprise him. <laughs> Tacos are in your future. What? Where did you? Come here, come to me. No! Why are you drifting the other way, you stupid? Oh, again. Stupid drift. Uh. Oh, come on. You have to get used to the drifting in this because it does not act like Mario Kart at all. Now oh, check that out, friends. Thank you for that. I appreciate the heads up. I'll check it out after I lose this race. Pessimism for the win. So I, yeah, that's why I use the reflection here. King Jellyfish is right there. Which is basically a blue shell. So we got we unlocked Ren. Yeah, I had a feeling that the if Ren is to be going to be in the top cup. They did a very good job of the level design. There's a couple of spots where the corridors are way too tight. Um, other than that, the game controls fine. The the drift is the one thing if you're a Mario Kart player, you gotta get used to that drift because it doesn't play. It doesn't drift the same as Mario Kart. 
I'm saying if you were drifting and you were in Mario Kart, you would jump and turn, but also like push the other way in, like against the turn. And this, you're drifting with the turn. It's like in your brain, you kind of have to like omit that part from your brain when you're playing this. I don't even know what the game said there. Raphael, not Raph. What a domination. Yeah, that would have been funny if he actually kicked it and hit one of the characters in the head and just bounced the other way. I would have laughed really hard at that. It's the little things, guys. It's the little things. Oh, 666. Hey, Muddy Mud Skipper. Hey, drive up with slime to get a speed boost. You can skip through it with the grace of ease. That's incredibly helpful. Oh, if you combine that with Mr. Krabs as, as, as chief or, or whatnot, when he like homes, grabs all the slime coins and gives you a boost on those, oh, that's like, oh, it's insane. There's some strategic setups here that are going to be awesome to see what people can do with if people actually play this game. Um... Okay, so the tall hey, the tallest. Uh, collect a single slime token and get two. And it would work in conjunction with Mr. Krabs as well. Honestly, if it actually works, it gives you double boost. Dib! Bless your opponents with a brief haste explosion. You can also use it for high jump. Score one for the human race. Hello, Ren. Welcome to the team. He's surrounded by idiots. Let me check out the garage, because uh, you mentioned the garage for us, so. Yeah, definitely give it a look, man. It's, uh, I've been streaming for the last, but, uh, two hours, yeah, just two hours and change. Went a little overboard, but it's just, this game, this game's fun. It's actually very good. Um, I mean, what can I do here? Can I do anything? Oh, uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay, so I can buy parts. Now, I still have eight drivers to unlock? Jeez. Um, okay, so you get different engines you can buy. That's cool. The food automatic. Clever. Defensing works. Okay. Different tires, okay. Toy ball. That's cute. Tommy. Okay. I need like different exhaust pipes, the water water trap, avatar, okay. Eugen, TMNT. And paint jobs. There's only a couple. Hey, honestly, like Turtle Van, don't really eh, eh. Ace Savvy, eh. Like just I can unlock more, which is good. Hopefully. But this is the most nineties one. Ha! <laughs> I you gotta come out with something more. Um, okay. Extras? Let's see what's up. Uh, oh, health numbers. Okay. That doesn't matter. Alright, so I'm just gonna end it here because I've, I've played a lot. Um, if you want me to keep streaming this, I absolutely will. Just let me know. Um, game comes out Tuesday, apparently. I was misinformed and wrong, as always. That's okay. Um, this game is actually really fun. If you want a cool alternative to Mario Kart 8, which they basically copied and pasted, Change the sprites to or of words. Um, yeah, try this out. It's actually quite fun. I, I enjoy it very much. Um, the button layout's different. All the weapons are there from Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Go for it. Very nostalgic feeling. Things they can absolutely work on. Soundtrack. Put the original songs in there, guys. Or remixes of the original songs that fit the levels. And voice acting. Which apparently somebody pointed out was a big issue with players from the first one. That's and I'm I'm missing that too. Just don't overdo it if they do put it in the game. Like we don't need the same repeating lines over and over and over again. Um, 
which is probably why they didn't do that in this one. Um, oh, you're welcome, Cool as One. Appreciate it. Um, look if anybody, you know, if you don't, if you want me to, just let me know. You know, I just figured, you know, I haven't seen anybody play this yet, or at least, you know, besides the, the videos, um, the, the preview videos, uh, like trailers and whatnot, I just was like, oh, I have it. Okay, okay, cool. I'll just put it up here and just play it. Um, I think it's fun. I think it's great, personally, and it feels very similar to Mario Kart 8. Very, very similar to Mario Kart 8. Um, is it better? That's debatable. I do like the things that they took that Mario Kart 8 should have improved on with Deluxe and added on to those. You have a lot of different strategies, the setups um, for strategy purposes before race with the driver you pick, your crew chief, and your crew members because they all give you different types of power-ups that aren't just for your character, they're during the race and work at different times during those races, so that's actually very cool. Um, you've got to get used to the drifting. Um, the drifting is l way different. It feels different than it does in Mario Kart, so just saying. Um, anyway, I uh, appreciate, appreciate you guys checking that out, and I will hope, hopefully see you soon. You'll see me throughout the week just, you know, playing through some more Crash Forward and some more Super Mario Bros. 35. If you want me to play this a little more, by all means, that's cool also. I'm going to do some more Star Wars Squadrons in VR and do some retro, retro games like Monster Party on NES. So, I will see you guys soon. Much love. Stay safe. Peace out.